Good morning, everybody. So we're in the center of Prague, as you can see. We're going to be meeting up with Barra Votikova, who is a YouTuber and the goalkeeper for Slavia Praha. We're also going to go and watch her play in the UEFA Women's Champions League quarterfinal game against Bayern. We're also going to be freestyling across the city. And I'm going to take you to the exact spot where I won the Freestyle Football World Championships. So let's go. won the world championships it feels weird to be back here it looks really different like i didn't recognize it they were like this was a place and i'm like no it's not it's still too hot it needs to cool down but i like it it's cool so the stage was like here and then we'd come running out of here because the backstage where we'd warm up and the green room was in this building and then you come running out here into the backstage up onto the stage here and then the crowd would all be here but i swear this green thing this area here wasn't here Oh, it feels weird to be back here. Yes! Literally feels like yesterday that I won. <sighs> so I'm heading to meet Barra now. She's Slavia Praha's goalkeeper and a YouTuber with 400k subscribers. Like that is mad. I'm looking forward to chatting to her. I'm gonna sit down, have a coffee, and find out how she does it. Barra! Show. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Amazing. As always. Amazing. Should we have a sit? Yeah, sure. Come on then. How on earth have you grown a 400k subscribers count on YouTube and and alongside it become the goalkeeper of Slavia Praha? Talk to me. I how don't is, know. How I did don't, you get into I football? Just, Start there. I just like had this dream of like being an actress. Really? And that's how I started a YouTube channel. Like creating my own comedy skits. Was this before or after football? It was at the same time, like, I was 15 yeah. when I started YouTube, but mm -hmm. I started playing football when I was, like, 8. 8? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you get into it then, if you started at 8? Football? Yeah. Yeah, like, my friends were mostly boys, mm -hmm. and so, so I played football with them a lot. And then my grandpa taught me how to play football, because he was really into it. I was, like, uh, the only girl in the family who had this passion for football. So then when did you go and join your first girls team? It was maybe a year or two okay. after. And so, what team was that? Uh, it was like in Plzeň. Okay. Back in Plzeň. And I don't know why I'm like showing this. <laughs> that point, way. Pointing that this way. way. <laughs> maybe it's that way. I, I'm not sure. That way. Okay. Yeah, it's like totally to the west. So it's maybe this way. I think that'd be east, because then it's north, <laughs> east, so maybe that way. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what you got your call up for the national team quite young, right? Uh, yeah, I yeah? Could, yeah, I was 12. 12? For the first time. For your national team? Yeah, national team, like under 15. Wow, so at this age, is that when you knew I want to be a footballer? Well, I don't. I just knew it when I was like 10, yeah, really? when I started with, with girls. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I got into women's soccer and mm -hmm. I knew some people from it and I know that I could have this kind of like career so mm -hmm. I just followed it. So you always knew you could have that career because yeah. I know yeah, some sure. people when they're starting out like especially years ago you didn't there wasn't a pathway to become a professional yeah but did you always see it? It, it wasn't like that like I of course I didn't know I could like be professional mm -hmm. and earn money mm -hmm. and live only like by play like with playing football like I couldn't imagine like it could be my job like so you football. didn't think that far ahead no you just knew you wanted to not. do it I just wanted this to be my career like yeah. this hobby to be my career when I started here in Prague five years ago I felt like no one cares about women food soccer mm -hmm. football here do, yeah. do you think it's getting to the point where Everybody accepts it because I've been walking around for a few days now and I, I'm always with my football on it. It's always attached to me somehow and I'm kicking it around. And I've had a couple of comments where like, oh, women play football. It's like, 
Are they still saying that? Yeah. I found that very strange. Yeah. If you do that in England. People here are still yeah. saying that. Um, but now we got more successful and we played these important games in Champions League. And I feel like people just care, care more. Was there anything like, was there a significant moment or something that happened that has helped to develop women's football? Well, I guess it was the first quarterfinals that we played against uh, Olympic Lyon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because it was probably the biggest success in women's soccer here and even like in the men's, in the men's game actually. Because really? any Czech team never got so far in mm. such an important uh, competition. Mm -hmm. So I guess this this was it. And you were 19 at the time? Yes, I was, was that, 19. Did you not feel the pressure? Because that's quite young. I, I couldn't just admit it to myself because then I would have like mental breakdown probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it was... Just deny it. Yeah, just deny it. I was in a huge denial at that time but no i i just wanted to enjoy that game mm. and enjoy this success and the feeling that i'm standing at the stadium in front of so many people in front of and having home. and have and playing this this huge game so the crew have been trying to get me on a horse and carriage and that's just not happening i am scared of horses like you just you don't know what they're thinking like they could attack you and hate you and you, you start, don't have a clue but anyway I found a replacement I found this old school baby it's like chitty chitty bang bang so Jerry's gonna take me for a ride I'm gonna freestyle let's see how it goes yeah. let's go Surprisingly, was much, much harder than the boat. When we freestyled on top of the boat in Amsterdam, that was much harder. I'm not sure why, I think it's because the floor's cobbly. So you're like constantly bouncing. And although the roof of the boat was wet and slippy, as long as I kept my feet still, I was fine. Where this, Jerry, was sending me all over the place. But you know what? I think we did it, I think we did pretty well. wall in this place is super cool and it's a symbol of peace unity and courage and I'm all about that oh and look all you need is a more no 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 all you need is a ball all right so not just playing for Slavia Praha but also 400,000 subscribers on YouTube that is a career in itself how on earth did you where did that start where did it come from <laughs> I felt like I knew what people want to see mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed the relatable stuff to create and yeah and people like to love it yeah from the very first video do you see an overlapping your fans like do your YouTube fans come and watch you at football or do your football fans then subscribe to your YouTube are they like completely different I think it just connects perfectly. really yeah but they're so and different I it is different, but I don't know. Like people who are like fans of football, okay, there are not that many people who are like fans of women football here. Okay. That's sad. That's it's sad. Sorry, sad. but it's getting better though. It's getting better. Yeah. Yeah, but people mostly started to follow me because I'm a YouTuber, mm -hmm. and then they. Uh, started to like be more aware of the fact that I am 
footballer. Okay. And then a lot of people started to like women football here. So you think you're more popular for your YouTube comedy skits and things, and they've come over and now them fans come I and watch your games? I used to be, I used to be in yeah. the beginning, but now I feel it's just the opposite. I really? feel like, yeah. That's interesting. All right, so what's your message out there to girls wanting to get into football or currently in football, maybe dropping out, you know, having a bit of a rough time? Mm. What is your message to them? It's very simple and it sounds so cliche. I, like, I didn't like cliches a lot, but then I learned they are so true. <laughs> um, I would just say to everyone who's in this kind of position to just do what they love and just be yourself. It's so cliche, right? It is, but, but it's, it's true. But it's true. It's so <laughs> yeah, true. It is. I can't help it. All right, guys, so we are at the famous Charles Bridge, and I'm going to attempt to walk all along it with a football balanced on my head. Let's go. That is harder than I thought it was going to be. It's my jaw and I'm dizzy. Oh, everything's spinning. Why is it spinning? Oh, oh. Champion. Over and out. Let's go and get an ice cream. Right, well, after that, I think I deserve a treat. So I'm heading to the Good Food Bakery. I'm going to try a chimney cake and I'm going to use this bad boy thanks to Visa. Now, I've never had one of these before, so I'm not sure what to get. Uh, do you prefer salted or sweet? Sweet. Mommy, I like salted ice one. cream. I like the blue one, but I want the strawberry kiss, please. Why not? Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah? Okay, we'll get that, please. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god, it smells like heaven. Can you eat it all? <laughs> yeah, let's pay for it first. <laughs> It's good. good. I'm feeling better after that traumatic bridge experience. I'm not really sure what this bit is, but it's all edible. I don't know how I'm going to tackle this. I think I'll eat all the ice cream first and then you know, cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> get it? <laughs> that was a bad joke, wasn't it? So we're at the Eden Arena for the UEFA Women's Champions League quarter-final, kicking off very soon, it's Slavia Praha versus Bayern. So let's go behind the scenes and see if we can find Barra. Fun fact for you guys. I'm actually a qualified referee. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Trying to block you, mate. So it's half time, it's currently nil nil. It's a pretty good game, but I've noticed over in the crowd, over there, there's a guy, I think he's gone now, but he stands about there and he orchestrates the crowd. Now I've only 
only seen this in men's football. This is the first time I've seen it in women's football. And it is cool, because it is building the atmosphere. Everyone's singing along. about 10 artifacts during that game. What a strike! And over, over there's Barra, me and her fans. And that's it, the Prague trip has come to an end. It has been amazing. It's been so good to be back in the very city that I won my world title. So it definitely has a special place in my heart. It's been amazing chatting to Barry, hearing about how she juggles professional football with a YouTube career. Like, that is insane. And it's been good to hear about the ongoing development of women's football in this city. And of course, not to forget freestyling in the car and nearly dying on the bridge from trying to balance my ball on the head all the way across. Like, whose idea was that? Mental, mental. But it's been good to try the food as well, because when I've visited, I've never had the chance to go around and see the places. So it's been incredible. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you liked this video.